This afternoon, new information has been released about the timeline of the encounter. The FBI is saying that phone records show that Ruth was near Trump International Golf Course in the area of that tree line for nearly 12 hours before Secret Service agents spotted him. That agent apparently saw a rifle poking out from the trees while the former president was one or two holes behind the alleged gunman. 300 to 500 yards away, they say. The Secret Service fired four to six rounds and the suspect ran. Today, Ruth was in a Palm Beach federal courtroom where he was charged with being a felon in possession of a gun, one that reportedly, by the way, had its serial number destroyed. East Tennessee Congressman Chuck Fleischman spoke with us about this second attempt on the former president's life, and he says he's been calling for more protection of the former president. This is serious, it's intolerable, uh, and we have got to stop uh, this, this in this country. We are far better than this as a nation, as a people, and uh, I condemn all types of political violence. I always have, but the Secret Service needs to do its job. Now, Senator Marsha Blackburn, of course, U.S. Senator from here in Tennessee, posting on social media this morning saying that she's sending a letter to the Secret Service and demanding former President Trump get the same protection as President Biden. Senator Blackburn writing, and we're going to quote here, he has had two failed assassination attempts in the last two months. This is completely unacceptable. Now, President Biden also speaking about the shooting attempt today as well. No place in political violence for political violence in America. None. Zero. Never. Now, just in the last half hour or so, we learned that President Biden spoke with former President Trump. And according to the deputy press secretary, Biden, quote, conveyed his relief that he is safe. 